Hello, my name is Kat. I'm the archivist at the Society and I'm responsible for our collections of archives and manuscripts, as well as some other collections like photographs, a collection of glass slides and brass rubbings. The archives and manuscripts collections of the Society are made up of three parts. So first we have the collection that's the archives of the Society itself, so that includes minutes, correspondence, documents related to the Fellows and so on. Then there is the manuscript collection, which was mostly assembled by Fellows of the Society. And then there are archival collections of individuals and organisations that were associated with the Society in some way and whose papers are now kept here. Our very earliest manuscripts are some 10th century fragments and we also have a collection of very fine illuminated medieval manuscripts. Some of the highlights are the Lindsay Psalter from the 13th century and some books of hours from the 14th and 15th centuries. We also hold the Winton Doomsday 12th century surveys of Winchester in its original binding and three copies of Magna Carta. The manuscript collection is also strong in areas such as heraldry, pedigrees, early historiography, documents from the royal household and local collections such as deeds and appointments. For example, we have a jousting check from the Field of the Cloth of Gold, a wardrobe account book of Edward II and accounts rolls for the Manor of Morden in Surrey. The archive of the Society itself dates back to its very foundation. We have a complete set of minute books from 1718 to the present day. And especially in the early days, the minutes are often very detailed and they include drawings of objects that were shown at those meetings. Some of these objects are still in the collection of the Society, so we can trace their history and other objects have been lost, so these are actually the only traces of their existence. Other documents in the Society's own papers include papers read at those meetings, correspondence, election papers of fellows from the mid-19th century onwards, and especially in the 20th century, internal documents of the Society, the funds it administered and so on. And for example, here we have the Royal Charter and the Register of Members. Last but not least, we hold archival collections of antiquarians themselves. They tend to be related to specific projects or interests. So for example, we have Dorothy Charlesworth's papers on ancient glass, J.F. Turner's sketchbooks of ecclesiastical buildings, excavation books of Mortimer Wheeler and Catherine Richardson when they worked on hill forts in northern France, and many more. We also have a substantial collection relating to Worcestershire, which was assembled by Peter Prattenton in the 19th century. Many of these collections were created, collected or donated by fellows of the society, so a lot of the material is also very interconnected. Of course, we also have some manuscripts both by and about William Morris, including Morris's own calligraphic copy of the preface of Storis Nolison. This one includes some marginal drawings by Philip Webb, amongst others. And now you're wondering, that all sounds great, but how can I find out what archives and manuscripts the Society actually has? And while much of our cataloguing work is still in progress, particularly where the Society's own archives are concerned, we are making available as much as possible on our online catalogue. The search is very straightforward, but you can also browse this list of all the collections in the archive to see what individuals and subjects are covered. And a list of manuscripts can be accessed in the same way. As well as cataloguing our collection, we are also beginning to digitise parts of it. And you can access those digital images straight through the online catalogue. For example, the Black Book of Peterborough has to be digitised. You can click on individual images, you can move through the pages, you can zoom in, you can flick through, you can even turn the images upside down. I mentioned at the beginning that I'm also responsible for a couple of other collections in addition to manuscripts and archives. We're only in the very early stages of making those accessible to really unlock their potential, but I will give you a brief overview. And there is our collection of photographs, which has images dating as far back as the 1840s. Some of them are very specific collections, so we have about 4,000 photos of English roof bosses in the cave collection, but there's also many more general images of excavation, historic buildings and so on. We have about 20,000 glass lantern slides, many of sites such as Stonehenge and Old Sarum. We also have a very extensive collection of brass rubbings, about 13,000, both English and foreign. And this is a very valuable collection as many of these brasses no longer exist. Our rubbing state from as early as pre-1700. Finally, we have a collection of about 50,000 heraldic book plates. We are currently working on making all of these collections much more accessible than they have been, so do bear with us while this work is ongoing. But I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the highlights and please do get in touch if there's anything you'd like to know.